pretty pajamas. They look really nice on this fleece. The buttery, light, pale yellow matches tubbies. Don't you think? So there's a little secret meeting spot here by the hay. Is that Reese Bear back there? No? Then we have Miss Bilby in the cube. And there's little Ray. This is our gorgeous bell print. All the liners are from Zoe and Lilo's toy box and as is that cuff tunnel and all of the rest of the cozies and the little fleece forests are all from Cindy's Cozy Co. And there's Mr. Huckman. So pretty. What do you guys think? And then the hay boxes here are from Fluffy Feet Designs on Etsy. So all of that stuff is linked down in the description box. Hi, Miss Bobby. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Hi, baby. You're so cute in there. So I have to show you over on the other side here. There's a really cool corner house that Cindy just created and made. Got to show you that. So the corner cube, or corner house is down in this section here. It's really huge. Maybe I'll just pull that forward. Look at that. So I'm still wicking the pad that fits in there nicely, so don't mind the little square pads in there. But how pretty is that? Like, that's huge. And it fits perfect, obviously, in a corner. And it's really sturdy, which is very important. Voila! And then these are her little foam cuddle cups, which are really nice. I like foam cuddle cups because then it keeps the sides, like the back and side wall, up perfectly. You can. Can you find in the bed to go to sleep in? Nope. Huffle is so funny. She'll just plunk down and snooze anywhere. Often, she'll, she can be found like in corners. And it's always so funny. Let's see the girls over here. So here's Annabelle. She looks super shiny, doesn't she? So she just got coconut oiled. So all over her ears and her body and her face. She gets actually quite dry. So I think I'm going to have to do it every cage clean. So twice a week. I was doing it once a week. But it seems like her ears get really dry pretty quick. Not sure why. But luckily it doesn't bother her and she's not scratching it or anything. Just looks a little dry. I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that she has like uppity ears. Where everybody else's ears flop over. I have no idea. But she's such a little cutie. She's very easy to put the coconut oil on. And then it keeps her nice and moist. And there's Annalise having a drink. Hi pretty girl. So Annalise will be going to have a spay and fingers crossed that everything goes well. It's been a tough choice to make but it's going to be for the best. So when she's in heat she's really aggressive and hormonal and even when she's not in heat she has lots of hormone issues. Very rumbly, humpy, chasey. So basically every single day she's acting hormonal towards her sister so they both have been stressed out. She's fine when obviously she's sleeping or she's distracted with food. It's just other times when they're interacting she's like I said humping, chasing, rumbling. Just all behaviors that with girls I only ever see if they're in heat and hers are kind of times 10. So she's going to get spayed and yeah I know it's scary. I don't want to do it but then if I don't do it I feel like I'm ignoring major warning signs that she could possibly have the start of ovarian cysts because all those behaviors that she's displaying are common signs for ovarian cysts. The other common sign is hair loss but obviously <laughs> 
we can't tell hair loss because usually for females it's down their flanks on the sides and some on their belly where they start to lose hair when their hormones aren't working properly but we would never know that with you because you're hairless So these little pipsqueaks are on koalas. So Angus actually had a bunch of oily skin build up all along his back and his bum. So he had coconut oil put all on him and then I rubbed it in and wiped it off with a warm washcloth. And man we shined him right up. The cloth had a lot of dark skin cells all over it. But if you leave dead skin cell buildup on them, their skin's not breathing properly and it could be very itchy. And he's such a good boy to handle. He's so sweet. Look at Miss Autumn. She's like squashed right in there. How cute is that? I had her out today too. We had a little snuggle. She's such a sweet pig. And she must have the softest, most gorgeous fur you have ever felt. So these guys are on the koala print that I just find so pleasing to look at. Just love the blue. Mr. Fuzzy. Look at all that fur, guys. <laughs> so the last time he was this furry, he was a teenager. And now he is fuzzy again at two and a half years old. So funny. Oh, I think Autumn just got out of there. Will she make an appearance? There she is. Hi, Autumn. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, sweetie. Hello. You have the cutest little baby face, don't you? You're so pretty. Are you snoozing in there now? She's so cute. She always has her little front feet sticking out. Can we see? I think we can. Cute little feet. Not focusing very well, is it? Hi, baby Autumn. You're so pretty. Are you having a drink, Reesey Bear? You're such a pretty baby. You had your nails clipped tonight, didn't you? Reese could be quite the squirmy worm for clipping her nails. Yeah, isn't that right? Even though you're the sweetest little piggy, we get the little um, shakes with our paws so I get my nail clipper lined up and then shake and then I have to line it up again and shake if only they could understand that if they held still it would be done a lot quicker isn't that right? hey guys yes how are you sweetie? oh then I thought you wanted to be pet I guess not. I don't see little Ray. Where is she? Why can't I see Ray Ray? Oh, she's over far side of the tunnel. Do you guys ever have that where for the life of you, you can't see where your pig is? And of course, the first thing you think is, oh my God, they're gone. They've jumped out of the cage. Somebody's stolen them. Okay, that's being dramatic, but you know what I mean, where you can't see them and your heart starts beating really fast and you're like, oh, what's happened to them? Where are they? What's going on? I think that happens to me basically every day. Or when you see a pig that's so comfortable that you're actually like staring at them to be like, you're breathing, right? Yeah, I have that every day too. I worry about these little piggies. Annabelle, you're so shiny. You look like a hippo that's gone in the water. What do you think, Annie? You're so pretty. I love you. I love both these girls. I love all my pigs. I love every pig. I love pigs that I haven't even met. Who else feels that way? Once you get to know somebody's pigs, you feel like you know them when you watch them on YouTube or see pictures of them. Now, can anybody tell where Autumn is? I can see a cute little pink foot. 
a little bit of orange fur, and a little bit of black. Hey, Angus. You coming to get a drink, Mr. Fuzzy Wuzzy? Does any kind of remind you of one of those fuzzy caterpillars? The woolly looking ones? What are they even called? If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!